Hello everyone. Welcome to today's Creative Arts lesson. My name is Marcia Bwache Frimpong, your Creative Arts teacher. Our lessons for today is on the visual arts. Substrand 1. Thinking and Exploring Ideas. Our targets for today's lessons are Explain topical issues. Give at least three examples of topical issues. And we should be able to make our own artwork on any topical issue we may find. Before we continue with our lesson, there are some items we will need for our lesson. They include notebooks for our notes, pencils, colors, of any type, rulers, sketchbook or drawing book or A4 sheets. You can pause the video here to get your items ready for the lesson. As we are at home now, there are so many issues that we are discussing. Some we hear on the news, some we hear from our relatives at home. Some may be of importance, others may not be, based on our opinion. Now, the most recent issue being talked about everywhere is the COVID-19 pandemic. We are being advised to protect ourselves from coming into contact with situations that can give us this COVID-19. We are advised to cover our mouths and our noses with a face mask. We should use hand sanitizers, wash our hands frequently. Now, when the COVID-19 is being talked about, they talk about its causes, and how we can prevent ourselves from getting infected or spreading it. COVID-19, some people say it has come to stay. Others say it will leave sooner. However, it has caused most of us to stay at home. Hence, its importance to be discussed in our society. This brings us to our topic for the day, topical issues. Now on topical issues. Topical issues are situations of current interest, importance or relevance. Now, issues that are of interest and importance are being discussed over and over and in their discussions, we look at their causes, their effects, and their solutions. Examples of such situations include the COVID-19 pandemic, poor sanitation, slums, domestic violence, water, air and land pollution, just to mention a few. Let's move on to digest the mentioned examples. Let us take a look at this picture. This picture is an example of a slum. Imagine walking around Accra and seeing a place like this. It destroys the beautification of the city. Now a slum is a part of a city or a town where many people live. But these people are classified as poor because they do not have the basic needs and some of these people also have social disadvantages. The basic needs include proper shelter, food, clothing and finance, that is money. Now people living in here have unauthorized permits to build in these areas. Recently, 
His Excellency, President Nana Akufuado, ordered that such areas be removed from Ghana. It began from Accra, a popular place known as Sodom and Gomorrah, or Fadama, was destroyed. People were relocated because they were affecting the beautification of the nation. Okay, children, let's look at this beautiful painting of a slum made by Ni Petemple. He is using his skill as an artist to depict slums in our country. Let's study this picture. What do you see? For me, I can see fire burning and a thick cloud of smoke coming out of it. A boy standing closer to it and stirring it with a rod. Mm. I can imagine myself standing close to this smoke. I will certainly find difficulty in breathing or probably I may not be able to see through the smoke. Have you experienced this situation before or observed any? From this artwork, write down two things that you think are polluting the air. Then pause the video and also make a drawing to depict a topical issue such as air pollution. Wow, this is someone's artwork on air pollution. Well, I think it's interesting. Don't you think so? Another topical issue for us to consider is poor sanitation. Let's take a look at this picture. Hmm. Can you live around such a place? I bet you'll be sick in no time. Do you know how it all started? Well, let's take a look at the next picture and we shall see where it began from. Kofi has littered at a place where a signpost says, do not litter. We tend to be disobedient, hence poor sanitation. Aside throwing waste properly, there are other things that we can make out of waste. We can recycle them into chairs, tables, purses, bags, just to mention a few. Now, as a creative art learner, draw two things that you can make out of plastic waste. You can pause this video and practice the test. Next on our list is domestic violence. Domestic violence is an abuse caused by a relative in our homes. It is an abuse because it causes pain to the individual receiving it. It can be between our parents ourselves and our siblings, ourselves and our parents, our aunties and our uncles, just to mention a few. Now, in these pictures, it can be seen that the men are strangling the women. The women seem to be crying out for help. However, in some cases, women tend to abuse men. Recently, the Minister for Gender children and social protection made an announcement that since we are mostly at home now the tendency of domestic violence to increase is very high therefore she advised that anyone going through such a situation should report to government agencies like Dobsu, Shraj and the others one may ask what is Dobsu? Dobsu 
is an abbreviation for Domestic Violence and Victim Support Unit. This unit is found in the Ghana Police Service. They oversee matters of domestic abuse against women and children. Shraj also oversees that rights of individuals are not being abused. Now, if agencies are being put up to address situations like this, then they must be of importance. Now, as a creative art learner, you are being asked to design a poster touching on domestic violence. Pause the video, try your hands on it, and let's continue. All right, children, we have come to the end of today's lesson. Now, take this practice exercise and remember to provide your responses on your portal. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. See you same time next week. Bye-bye.